it wasn't ready for prime time. It was very hard to find things. To, you know, similar sort of uh, hurdles to get over. The same, but I think what's helped in that case is like you have, all, you know, tons of different flavors of Ubuntu. You have distributions, right? And we've got installation profiles that could theoretically give you a blog site that is more honed toward doing those tasks. But I don't feel like we're using them very often, partly because I don't, I wouldn't know how to create an installation profile as a developer, you know, unless I went and looked it up. It, do you think that's a problem, is that we're giving everybody a one-size-fits-all distribution that's a box of Legos, um, when people really want to just start a blog and we should give them a blog? I think, I think there's two issues there. One is that Drupal itself needs to be usable by the people that we're testing, period. Whether, regardless of what box of Legos or whatever it is, people need to find Drupal before they find Drupal blogging distro, and so that needs to be solved for everybody. Um, but yes, to answer your question, because when we put stuff into Drupal, there's always this big sort of like tension, right? Because it's <coughs> like, um, when you put it in Drupal, you're sort of making assumptions on behalf of like 90% of people, because most people aren't gonna go seek out distributions of Drupal and stuff like that. So there's always a lot of tension about like making sure that when we do things, we make sure they're done in the default profile and not in core. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So that if you don't want an admin role out of the box, or you don't want your first content types being called, uh, you know, story and whatever, you can change into growing the blaz or whatever you want to do um, and stuff like that. So, so the second one is making distributions more obvious on Drupal.org, and I think that is an issue. Distribution technology is still pretty like primitive. The, the only people who built really solid, awesome distributions are really smart people. And a lot of that reason was in Drupal 6 and below, making it an install profile was just agonizing because the APIs were horrible. Uh, you had to learn a completely different system for doing profiles than you did anything else that you did in Drupal. In Drupal 7, we have a couple of nice things to, to help facilitate that. One is that pro install profiles are exactly as modules. They have dot install files, you can do updates in them, that you can call hook form alter, whatever you want to do, it's all exactly like you write a module. So if you can write a module, you can write an install <coughs> The second thing is we have uh, per uh, version dependencies now in Drupal 7. So you could say, my distribution requires at least views 3.1 or whatever, instead of in, in the old days, it was like you could put a dependency on views, but the second someone downloads a new version of views, your install profile, but you know, it all is kind mm -hmm. of messed like that. So we're working on that. Drupal.org also has tools now so that when you make an installation profile and there's a tarball thing and you click download, it'll actually bundle Drupal plus all your modules plus everything in one download, but that's very recent. That's only in the last like six months or something. Oh, okay. So, so I think that's why you see it lagging behind. But yes, I think there's absolutely a place for distributions, and that's perfect. Someone wants to make Drupress or something like that. That's like you know killer WordPress thing out of the box. I think that's <laughs> great. But we still need to make this usable for everybody because this is what all of those distributions are going to have in common is that same admin interface. Same Does yeah. that? Help? Yeah. My only other. Question uh, on that point is, a lot of admins love drop down to get quickly to where you're going, and I sort of you, you go right to admin menu because that was one of the first things you yeah. installed in Drupal six was I need an admin menu. Yep. Um, and this is it, it's almost like a step back if you're using admin menu. But you can still yeah. use admin menu. Right. Yeah, admin menu drops in and it works fine. Um, you know, in Drupal 8, we might make the decision to make these drop down. We, we avoided doing that because our testing showed people just got so overwhelmed mm. when they see too many things. And this, so far, seems to have tested really well. Um, but I agree, for advanced users, you, you know exactly where that link, you know it's the third link down and the second one over, so you just want to get there. Um, and that, you know, that's why we make all this extensible. All these fancy modules we talked about, overlay, toolbar, shortcuts, contextual links, those are all turn operable. And you can swap them out with something more advanced if you want. Um, but the idea is like, and remember, we're not, Drupal 7 wasn't coming from admin here. Drupal 7 was coming from this freaking block where you had to click this, and then that, <laughs> and then that. You know what I mean? So right. it, yeah, this is a light years beyond what we had out of the box. So. Okay, wait. We should hold questions for later, though, because we still have some more presentations to do. But we will get to you. Sure. Um, right. All back. So uh, the preview problem, um, when we have previews, uh, for example, the blocks administration demonstration, thing is that you know people go like oh, I want to add something here and you know, they click here and they go like ah oh, shit I can't add it here. <laughs> um, so yeah people kind of expected that when they were whenever there was kind of a preview. Um, so content preview same kind of issue. Um, we do actually have a preview here but the preview is within the page. So 
people are kind of confused, like, is this what I'm seeing? Is it what my users are going to see? Um, they're really expecting to actually preview the content within their website, which is a, I don't know, understandable except expectation there. Um, so moving on from, from all the preview and contents, uh, we had some tasks that were about modules and uh, installing a module. So what we thought, you know, we were we have this new system in Drupal, which is you can now install using a URL or just uploading a file. We thought, you know, we need to test this, you know, we need to figure out whether they can actually use this. But what we discovered is that there were deeper issues. Uh, people didn't always realize that you can actually extend Drupal, and the cause of this was, beside the, the module uh, terminology was somewhat confusing, uh, when they actually got to the module page, they were just confused with all the options, all the things that were going on there, and they saw you know, the options that were there as the only options that you could use. So uh, they didn't even see the install Drupal or install modules link. Um, they just saw like all the stuff going on on the page and uh, they quickly you know, navigated away. So, okay, so that's, that's the actually uh, Drupal. Um, when it comes to actually the process of finding a module on Drupal.org, that's, that's pretty hard. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you need to know. You, know. you need to know which module you're kind of looking for and filtering down all the different options there. It's, it's, a, it's a bit of a struggle. So the, like, the overarching deeper issue there is you know, Drupal kind of comes across as being limited. You know, there, we don't have a lot of functionality in core that people expect. And we fail to kind of <coughs> inform users that they can extend Drupal. You know? that's, that's our biggest strength. It's the reason why you should also you know, be using Drupal. <coughs> So to show a, a quick video of someone using um, Google here. see these options and they go like okay so that's that's what's there and and so oh we don't see that well the, there we see it. there's like a link install a new module people don't really see that uh, so whenever we see like a very busy page they kind of tend to miss like the you know, main name, action links there um, so I'm gonna be doing this a bit fast so yeah we have Drupal.org um, when they come to this page they see all the filters going on um, and you know this kind of confuses them there's a lot of stuff in there. And uh, let me show you a quick movie of someone using this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I knew it. Um. I knew it.
So yeah, we asked her to look for uh, web form um, when she, you know, she actually called. You know, what what am I actually looking for? Um, and one of the main things is that we saw is that um, when they see all these options, they don't actually see this option, <laughs> which could potentially be one of the you know, most important ones on the page there. Um, so they don't, you know, don't really go into browsing that much because they're just you know, confused with all the filters, all the stuff going on on that page. Um, so there's a real opportunity to improve that page there. Um, web form, um, you know, we have a page there and there's an actually a really intriguing thing there. Is we have Git instructions. Right. And when people <laughs> see that, they don't they, they don't read the it. They they go like get instructions. Oh, that's something I could use. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I, that's what I thought it meant. That you guys are just being playful. Yeah. No. Because when they got to the get instructions, they see all this. Oh, <laughs> oh it's a problem. Okay. And that's not that's not very helpful. No. Like, oh, what do I need to do here? I really confused now. I thought it was construction. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's an issue there. Um, luckily, uh, since we found this, we actually uh, thought up a solution there and to rename it to version control. And uh, speaking right now, we're actually going to deploy that as soon as possible. So, you know, these are like small fixes that we can do to really improve that experience and you know, they don't take a lot of time. Um, yeah, last one here is uh, yeah, what I'm supposed to download. When people see the download area, uh, they usually don't see this download thing, and they go like, oh, do I need like version seven? Do I need version six? Uh, we saw people, you know, when they came to this page um, and there wasn't a seven version, they would just pick another one and go like, oh, I can just try something different. <laughs> so they didn't really mm -hmm. understand the concept of all the different versioning of modules that we use. And beside that, we have the tar keys and zip. Uh, links, people miss that. Uh, people were looking for the word download, and um, we don't present them with that. So whenever they saw these options, they were like, I don't really know which one you know, my computer works with, and you know, which one the website can use, and all that. So yeah, there were some real problems there as well, uh, in just actually you know, getting to download it. So quick summary again. Um, the major problems were really like the terminology problems, uh, you know, when people were just confused about what something means. Uh, the difference between blocks and content, people kind of thought of everything on the page as you know, kind of like content parts, like um, parts on the page. Uh, lack of accurate peer views. They saw the website and were like, uh, I, don't, I don't know, know how this option relates to what I will end up with. And yeah, downloading and installing modules. And uh, a really important thing there is all participants needed to call the help desk. So none of them really got through it fully. And Jen's going to talk about some of the overall things. So we gave all of our participant participants a list of words to choose from that describe their experience using Drupal. And I think the big takeaway here is that everybody saw that Drupal was really customizable, which I think is great, because it is. That's exactly the first impression that we want to give. Um, some people thought that it was organized, which was good. I mean, Drupal does have organization, but everybody thought that it was confusing, because there's a lot of organization, but for someone new, it's really hard to figure out how to use it. Um, there are also, also a bunch of other things that people said, like it's overwhelming, it's too technical, it's frustrating. Um, there's, of course, a bunch of positives in here, too, like it's sophisticated and it's efficient. Um, but I think the big takeaway here is here is that it's really powerful, but that it's still hard to use. <coughs> we also gave people a score so that they could rate Drupal on its ease of use and value. And um, with ease of use, nobody thought it was very easy to use or easy to use. It was either neither or hard, uh, which I think is, a, is another important thing to take away. But everybody also saw that there was value in it. Um, but when asked if they would do it user right away, people all seemed to think they needed to get more familiar with it before they could use it. Um, so we asked them to say uh, the kinds of experiences that they had if they had to go out and use it right now. Um, one person said that it was really hard and that she'd have to get her sister to help her because her sister's more technical. That was kind of interesting. Um, and then it's, oh, if you know what you're doing, it's going to be great, but for the first time, it's a little shaky. Uh, and then, yeah, confusing at first, but you, I think you need to toy around with it to get familiar with it. Um, and some of the first impressions that they said they thought it was going to be really easy, at the end, they said, oh, well, it wasn't, it wasn't user friendly as I originally. Right. 
So in terms of next steps after this, uh, we want to do more of these usability studies, um, both big formal ones in the lab, but also sort of like gorilla ones. We just like take a few people in a room and sort of test things one off. Um, and we also want to fix all the problems that were found. Uh, so if you'd like to help us with that, um, we put up a post on uh, the front page of Drupal.org that sort of summarizes this thing in, in writing. We've uh, started uh, a tag in the issue queue called UMN 2011. Uh, so you can get a list of all of the hit list issues that we found throughout this and help us with patches. There's also a usability group at groups at Drupal.org slash usability where we sort of discuss how we're going to fix some of the, the bigger problems. Um, and finally, there's a Drupal community initiative page on usability as well. It sort of highlights the top issues that we're focusing on right now. Um, and if you can help with patches, we would really appreciate it because we have a lot of people who know these problems exist, but they don't have the skills to actually code them. So if you're one of those kind of people, we would love to have you. So thank you, and these are some of our sponsors who helped with the <coughs> testing. And then we'll open it up for questions for minus one minute. So I already called <laughs> 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 um, But you had a question with the Rubik's um, <coughs> Do you remember? You mentioned that um, people expect the drop downs. Um, with my dad and I, because we've been using it since all navigation was a little administration block, we still disable that overlay and, and just disable click, 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 and make the block. That's cool. There, so that's there. the power of Drupal, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, was, I, I noticed where um, you like downloading the module and it just has the zip file and the RGB. I just found an old issue where we had laid out different like layouts, and the word uh -huh. download was one of them. And we're like, yeah, it's not scannable, and okay. it's like, kind of fun to like. Like, oh, it's, yeah. yeah, yeah. So from now on, we should actually test it first before we say stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Who wouldn't understand that 7.x hyphen something something means 7? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you ask them to download and install a module for Drupal 6? In the no, usability? this was just testing okay. on Drupal 7. Okay. In Drupal 6, you can't actually uh, do that yeah. through UI, uh -huh. so we weren't able to test that at all before. Okay. So, yeah. so it's better. It's better, <laughs> better, yeah. yeah. Other than they couldn't discover you could install modules, yeah. they didn't know how but to that's find right. them. At least now, to, yeah. But at least now people, if they ever go to that page, they maybe read the fact that there is the ability to do this. Whereas in six, you kind of just had to know that yeah. you had to go to Drupal. You'd have to somehow find your exactly. way, exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, it's incremental steps, it's getting better. Yeah. What I feel like we sort of did is we fixed the really terrible problems that were preventing people from even <laughs> using Drupal at all you know, without a whole lot of pain. So that's good. Within five minutes, people can do something in Drupal now, and that's great. Yep. Um, however, what we found now is like, sort of like an onion, so we're not in the next layer of like, ooh, ooh, that's just, bleh. so we're gonna have to work on these problems in Drupal 8. I hope we can fix all of them, we'll probably fix half of them, or I don't know, but hopefully all of you will help us, and we'll fix all of them, and Drupal 8 will be amazing, and stuff. But, uh, but yeah, so we, we have to work on these problems, then we can do another round, and we'll probably find all kinds of other stuff, but right. that's the idea, though, is it, it, what I'm encouraged by is that nobody had a problem navigating Drupal anymore. Nobody got confused by the really basic thing of, like, where the heck am I on my site, that kind of stuff. That's great, because now we're actually testing the functionality we intended to test, instead of <coughs> testing the fact that Drupal just doesn't make any sense. In, in by comparison, in uh, Baltimore in 09, there were people that took you know 20 plus minutes to figure out how to create a page. Um, this time, I don't think anybody <coughs> took more than like five or seven minutes to actually create the page, and that was like worst case scenario. They went to menus and stuff like that first. So it is there are improvements, but I mean they're still. Yeah, I guess to echo what Angie's saying, it's the next layer of the onion. Yeah. So we hope you help us with the next layer of the onion. Then. Thanks very much, everybody. <laughs> Thank you.